Should your twins share a room? Let's talk about the pros and the cons of them being in the same bedroom. Hey everybody, my name is Joe Rawlinson. I'm the founder of dadsguidetotwins.com, where I help you survive and thrive as a father of twins. Let's talk about twins sharing a bedroom and why that may be a good idea and why it may be problematic for your twins. As a point of reference, our identical twin girls have shared a bedroom every day of their life. When we brought them home from the hospital, we put them in to their nursery. We actually put our girls in the same crib in the nursery uh, together for the first several months while they were home with us. The current safe sleep recommendations are that each twin be in their own crib, but it's totally fine for those cribs to be together in the nursery. Ultimately, your kids are going to outgrow those cribs. We found that our girls started to escape from their cribs at around the two-year mark, and that's when you need to start transitioning to maybe a convertible bed or a regular bed, a big, a big kid bed for them, but they can still share a room. So there are four advantages of your twins sharing a bedroom. Number one is that you only have to decorate one nursery. That reduces your costs, that reduce, reduces your time, preparations to get ready for them. Number two, when in the middle of the night you hear one of your twins crying, you don't have to figure out which bedroom to run to because they're in the same bedroom. That makes it really easy for you in your sleep-deprived state to just head straight to the nursery to find out who needs your attention. Number three is that all the kids' clothes will be in the same bedroom. That makes it very easy to get everybody ready for the day. It makes it easy to organize those clothes. You know where the clothes go. You know where they are when they need to get washed. You know where they are when you need to change one of your children. And number four, probably the biggest reason for keeping the twins in the same bedroom is that you don't have to move. If you have a spare bedroom right now when you're expecting twins or when the twins are little, just put them in the same bedroom and you save a lot of space. You don't necessarily need to upgrade your house, move to a different place because you already have room for them in that bedroom. So those are some of the advantages of twins sharing a bedroom from a parent's perspective to say nothing of, of the bonding that your twins will have over time. Okay, let's talk about some disadvantages of your twins sharing a bedroom from a parent's perspective. So one is as they start to get older, they will wake each other up. So this happens after naps. This happens in the morning after a night's sleep. When one of them wakes up, that twin is ready to go, ready to play, ready to party. But maybe the sibling, you know, baby B, is not quite ready to get out of bed yet. And so from a parent's perspective, if they're both in the same room, they're more likely to, one is more likely to wake up the other one. And that could be a problem if one of your twins likes to sleep longer or needs more sleep than the sibling. Now, the second challenge of having twins in the same room is that bedtime can be a bit of a challenge, getting them to calm down, to quiet down, to relax, and to fall asleep. Because they are in the same bedroom, they want to talk to each other, they want to play with each other, they want to interact with each other. And so sleep training is essential to try to get them to both calm down and relax on their own individual sleep surfaces, whether they're still in their cribs or if they're on beds. But it can be a bit of a challenge if they're in the same room because there's a built-in distraction. Twin A wants to distract twin B, and twin B wants to distract twin A. That brings us to number three, which is nap time. Now, we found that nap time can be kind of more difficult than bedtime routines. Because at the nighttime, you have a bedtime routine. The kids are, are slowly moving towards sleep. Nap times, they may put up some more resistance. And so you need to eliminate all distractions if possible. Getting our girls when they were toddlers down to nap in the same bedroom was almost impossible, such that we had to move them for nap time into separate rooms. We put one girl down to sleep in her crib in her bedroom and the other girl in like a pack and play in our bedroom. That was a temporary thing, just needed it for a few months to get through that phase of life. But be mindful that nap time may be more difficult when both twins are in the same bedroom. Okay, number four is that a disadvantage of sharing a bedroom is that it's, it may not last forever. We've talked before about if you have boy-girl twins and how long that can last having the same bedroom before it maybe gets awkward for the siblings together. Talking with many twin parents of boy-girl twins, they can go for many, many years before they, of their own free will and choice, are like, hey, mom and dad, I would like to have my own room away from my sister or away from my brother. So the other conflict is is not just maybe awkwardness of boy-girl twins, but even if you have boy-boy twins or girl-girl twins, they may start to get kind of feisty and sick of each other. I know we struggle with that with our girls over the years. Uh, some days they love being roommates and other days they hate each other and they want to move out of the house. So you have to figure out a balance there between how long your twins can share a room. And if it's out of necessity because it's the only room in your house, so be it. Uh, they just have to learn to live with that. 
Uh, otherwise, you may want to consider moving them to an extra bedroom if you have that as an option. So the bottom line is that you need to be flexible. Reading the cues from your twins. In most cases, they should be fine to share a bedroom, but there may be cases where you need to separate them temporarily, like we talked about naps, or maybe permanently if their personalities are just clashing so much that they need their own individual space. So how about you? Are your twins in the same bedroom or in the separate rooms? Go ahead and leave a comment and let us know what's worked for you and your twins. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please share it with another parent of twins that you may know who's expecting or raising twins. While you're here, check out some of these other videos for practical tips and tricks on preparing for and raising your twins. And I'll see you next time.